can a new video create new leads? That's what prosecutors are hoping for two weeks after the Brussels terrorist bombings. The video features the so-called man with the hat, and it shows his movements for nearly two hours after the attack. CCTV's Kevin Ozebeck is in Brussels. Belgian prosecutors have made a plea to the public for information on this man, the man who's been dubbed the man with the hat. This is the man who was seen walking alongside the two suicide bombers inside the international airport here in Brussels shortly before those two men detonated themselves. Uh, Belgian prosecutors also released new security camera video of this man, also called the third attacker, running away from the airport alongside passengers shortly after those twin explosions. Also based on new security camera video released, it appears that this third attacker, this man with the hat, ditched that light-colored or white-colored coat he was seen wearing, and now prosecutors want everyone to take a close look at what he was wearing underneath that coat in case that helps people identify them. You can see he was wearing a light blue-colored shirt with dark patches around the elbows. Uh, when prosecutors made the plea for information on this man, that was done with a sense of urgency. Investigators want to know who this man is. They want to place him behind bars and they want to interrogate him. It's very possible that this man could have crucial information about how the Brussels attacks were planned and also crucial information on the terror cell that has been operating here in the heart of Europe. Police are also stressing that if anyone has information on this man, if by chance they took video of this man on the day of the attacks or if they think they may have spotted that coat that he dropped off and left behind, you can call police and remain anonymous. Kevin Ozebeck, CCTV, Brussels.